Damn, being short is so much fun. I love being short. <sighs> all right, I'm like five foot eight, five foot nine. All right. If I wear certain shoes, I could be five ten. Um, so basically, I'm six foot eight. No, I'm actually, I'm, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I've always thought like being tall would be so sick, but it's like out of my control. Like the doctor told me, I think in like sixth, seventh grade, like yo, you're gonna stop growing. Like it, it doesn't show that you're gonna keep growing. I was like, no, I think the charts are wrong. And I was like, what does that guy know? He knew a lot. He kind of, he kind of knew what he was talking about. I'll be real. Um, nah, but uh. I do feel a little sick today. Like, my throat is just messed up. Uh, I was kind of aching. I was supposed to have uh, personal training tomorrow. <coughs> but uh, I kind of moved it. I think I might just go walk on the treadmill the next couple days, take it easy. I don't want to be lifting heavy weights if my body's achy. But life's good. Um, you know, uh, yesterday's video was cool about... Um, going back to what hurt you because that was relevant at the time and being short is relevant to me all the time to other guys out there that are shorter than me hey man it's okay i feel you bro because there's always those dudes that are like six foot three you know just walking around oh look at me and then girls will be like yo i only like tall guys i'm like yo what about guys that have fun personalities and are super funny you know, it's never, oh, I just want a funny person. It's always, oh, I want a tall guy. It's like, bro. I, like, I literally heard somebody be like, oh, being short's a red flag. Are you kidding me? Like, you got to take this one up with God because you got to take this one up with my mom and dad. You know, I, I you know, like, th this is out of my control. How about we do, like, uh, muscles or something? Because I've been going to the gym, you know? Like, things that we have control over. Like, that's the, that's the thing. Like, you know, I don't have control over that. So, I, all seriousness, I'm joking around. Um, but, for real, in life, there's things you can't control. And you have to let go of trying to control those things. Because you don't have control. Control the things you can. You can go to the gym. You can eat healthy. You can surround yourself with good people. And you can find what you're looking for if you change how you're looking for it sometimes that's what that's all it requires you know if you're trying to find something and you can't find it you got to try a new tactic because if you keep trying the same thing that's insanity honestly that's some words of wisdom control the things don't try to control the things you can't control because that is a useless mission let go of the things you can't control and find peace with the things that you technically could because controlling anything ultimately only hurts you in the end. Allow things to be what they are. Imagine if you just took a deep breath like this and you just said, wow, I love myself how I am. And you were kind to yourself. And you stopped telling yourself the stories that actually hurt you and started... I don't know, planting a couple more seeds of the positive ones. How would life be? What would that look like? Try it out. Let me know. Comment down below. Leave a like. Subscribe. Love you guys.